Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to go about uh, finding the roots and the vertical asymptotes of rational functions and doing this um, actually rather quickly. Um, all right, so let's see here. I've outlined some steps here. When you're going to find your roots, you're going to set each factor in the numerator equal to zero and solve. And then you're going to want to make sure and check that in the denominator to make sure that you're not dividing by zero. All right, to find your vertical asymptotes, you're going to set each factor in the denominator equal to zero and solve. And here again, you're going to want to check in the numerator to make sure that you do not get a zero. All right, so here's your rational function. All right, so basically, all right, from the two um, little shortcut mm, explanations there that I have given you, your roots are always going to come from the numerator and your vertical asymptotes are always going to come from your denominator. And the main thing is you, you just want to always check it in its opposite location to make sure you don't get a zero. Like if you take one of these factors said equal to zero solve and you take that number and then plug it into your denominator and you get a zero, you would be dividing by zero so then that means it would not be a root. Okay, same thing. If you would take one of your factors in your denominator, set it equal to zero, get whatever that is, plug it into the numerator and get a zero, then that would not be a vertical asymptote. All right, but real quickly, roots are located in the numerator of rational functions. Vertical asymptotes are located in the denominator. All right, now let's take this specific example and work it through and actually find them and then show what it looks like when I graph it. All right, so we've got this rational function f of x equals 2x minus 3 times quantity x plus 3 and all over x times x minus 2. All right, so let's go through and find the roots first. All right, I'm going to set each factor in the numerator equal to 0. All right, so I'm going to take that 2x minus 3 set equal to 0 and solve. I'll add 3 to both sides. 2x equals 3 x equals 3 halves. All right, now I can set that in the denominator and I can clearly see I am not going to get any zeros there. So one of my roots is x equals 3 halves. Okay, set the other factor equal to 0. x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 from both sides. x equals negative 3. Here I get, if I plug it in here, I do not get a 0 and I don't plug a 0 there. All right, so my two roots real quickly are x equals 3 halves and x equals negative 3. All right, now if I want to find my vertical asymptotes, I'm going to take the denominator factors and set them equal to 0. So I'm going to set x equal to 0. All right, checking my numerators, plugging it back in there. I will not get a 0 in any of those cases, so I'm good there. Taking the other factor, setting it equal to 0, x minus 2 equals 0, add 2 to both sides, I get x equals 2. Again, checking in the numerators, I am not going to get a 0 in either one of those. So my two vertical asymptotes are x equals 0, x equals 2. All right, now I have already graphed this um, in the graphing calculator so that we can look at it real quickly here. Okay, and as you can see, all right, here is negative 3 right there, which was supposed to be a root. 1 and a half, there's 1 and a half or three halves, so then there's the other root right there. All right, looking at the vertical asymptote, all right, you can see that the graph's coming really, really close to one here, getting really, really close to one there. So there is a vertical asymptote right there at zero. And then again at two, the graph gets really, really close to two there, also up there on the top. So again, you can see a vertical asymptote there at two. All right, so just a quick little method for rational functions, only works with rational functions, on how to quickly find your roots and how to quickly find your vertical asymptotes. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.